Hello everyone, welcome back to Crypto Malaysia. My name is Aaron and today we will be taking a look at a project that is in the category of social tokens. So what exactly is a social token? Well, there's two types. One is a social token for the community and another one is an individual social token. So community-based uh, social token actually just signifies uh, participation in the particular community and in the case of this project called uh, Friends with Benefits, uh, this is actually a token that allows you particular access into a Discord server. So they actually have a program where they can check against your wallet balance and only if your wallet balance is enough, then they let you into the uh, Discord server. So this is one of the important developments uh, nowadays uh, as we develop our understanding of the potential of the application of uh, tokens when it comes to community building and also uh, in terms of like the individual. So for example, if uh, I want to uh, you know, fund my college and I don't have money, so some people would actually go to Kickstarter and they would raise funds uh, for the college. And this has been done before and it's quite well accepted, I think. Um, and perhaps, you know, if somebody is in need that needs to have like a, you know, kidney transplant or something serious like that, they can actually issue a token and people who support them can actually, you know, buy these tokens. So uh, social token is going to be a big thing, obviously, uh, with uh, celebrities um, that's actually issuing it. And right now, um, social tokens are not exactly, you know, under the radar of uh, these uh, so-called regulators. Right. Um, but in terms of liability, it's actually quite, quite, um, how do you say, quite simple, right? So if you have a community token, actually the liability would lie with uh, everyone in the community. Whereas if you have an individual um, social token, obviously if you're the issuer, you would have kind of like an unlimited liability uh, associated with the token issuance. So, uh, so do take a look at this project. Um, they do have a coin that is actually being traded on um, on a Uniswap, as you can see here, and there is also they are also on CoinGecko, and it's quite strange. But uh, this particular project, Friends Who Benefit, actually has a market cap of twenty eight million dollars, right? So you wouldn't expect that from just a single token, but uh, as with everything else in crypto, I think it is kind of like an experiment uh, at this point in time. So yeah, the, the tokens have been climbing. Obviously, you know, this is a very active community and like everything is like kind of like, you know, this community based uh, investing or, you know, just, uh, you know, community with incentivization is something that's uh, really taken off uh, recently. And we can see that, you know, it's, it's a very big group. Yeah, it's uh, about 2000 people in the group and every single one of them have to have the 55 um, friends who benefit token. So yeah, that's uh, kind of like an interesting thing. And basically, you know, we're just trying to keep up to date with uh, whatever's uh, developing in the space. Um, how about you? Do, you? do you want to issue a social token for yourself? Or maybe you have a community that you want to issue a social token uh, for? Uh, it could be something interesting. Obviously, there's a little bit of risk if uh, regulators eventually uh, do catch on. So thank you very much, and uh, I'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.